everyone and welcome back. So today we're going to be baking, or shall we say attempting to bake, vegan carrot cake. There is a lot of steps. Now this recipe says that is easy. It doesn't look easy. So we're going to take on the challenge, well I say we, I mean me, are gonna take, I'm going to take on the challenge of trying to do this with some help with my sister. Um, so So I'm going to start, we have to make the icing first, um, I don't know why but this is what it's telling me to do. Um, I'm using coconut cream for this, um, I'm going to put, not the whole thing in because that's too much, I feel like that's enough. Oh I spilt like half of it, oops the daisies. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I need to use hot water or not, we'll figure this out after we go along. So now, oh my god, I'm going to put in one tablespoon, oh that looks so odd, of lemon juice into the mixture. And then we're going to add two tablespoons, oh this looks disgusting, of, oh my goodness gracious, cashew butter. This is so disgusting. It's not a very nice texture, cashew butter at all. I, I hate peanut butter, so like, it's just, don't know why it's gone runny. Don't know if that's a good thing or not. I can imagine it's not. So, <laughs> yes, we've got that. Just gonna pop these in the sink quickly. And then I'm going, um, the, and then whisk in the icing sugar. So now we're going to whisk in the ice and sugar. Oh my gosh, it's stuck. Oh, whoa, okay. That'll do. And then the, the, oh, the oat milk. Just going to give that a little mix here. After that's been put in the fridge, I'm going to put in some sugar and some melted coconut oil. And I'm going to whisk all of this until it's dissolved. So now I'm going to put in the oat milk and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then I'm going to whisk all this together in this bowl and then once this is all done in this bowl we have to leave this to the side and then put some other ingredients in another bowl and then whisk them together and I think we can then add them afterwards. So as you can see it there is some orange zest in there and the flour and I'm going to put in half a tea- oh my god and half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and then I'm going to put one half teaspoon I meant teaspoon not tablespoon by the way in case I said that um, and then one half of bacon powder I'm now going to put in one even teaspoon of cinnamon, nutmeg, yep this is nutmeg, oh my gosh it's so hard to do this when, oh, when this is a new one, okay so we're just going to clean that up in a minute, um, and one teaspoon of Ginger. Oh, there's a big clumpy bit. Woo, there we go. And then we're going to mix them together from the other bowl. Woohoo! So now I'm going to add in. I don't know the oil's gone weird. Great. So comment down below if you think this is going to fail just like all the other times or if you feel like it might actually work out I don't think so because it's gone dodgy why can't anything in my life go right? so now we're going to combine these together until obviously it makes oh for Christ's sake I'm so, I just get maybe should I resign if this is what this is trying to tell me like oh yikes But it didn't say anything about the carrots. I'm so confused. Oh, okay. So once it's wet, now we put in the carrots. Right, okay. There, there's a lot of carrots going in here. 
Sorry for that noise of your... Maybe that's way too much cat it, but it looks really good either way. Oh, we need the nuts too. Don't forget <laughs> the nuts. Those are walnuts to be specific. Oh, it looks, it, it looks okay. I mean, I think it looks better than what it did two seconds ago. Now that everything's added together. Let's do a smell test. I mean, it smells nice. So, what do we have to do now? We now have to divide the mixture. So, because we only have one of the little cake tins, this is going to be fun. So, I'm going to try to divide it into, well, put half of it into that one. And then we have to wait for that one to come out of the oven, cool down, and put the one in the oven. And then we'll be back once it's cooled. So that is what they look like. Please excuse this because my dad decided it'd be fun to take a bit because we're now a lot of hours later and because the icing failed as per usual. So we had to wait a while to try again. So yeah, my dad took a bit out of it. The, um, the icing didn't go thick enough, like the buttercream type, well it's not buttercream, but you know that type of thick consistency for carrot cake it didn't work so I had to get my dad to go and get some stuff for it he just couldn't find anything sorry that my voice sounds like this I've had a really bad panic attack and my voice is just not really recovered from that and um, just because everything was going wrong and then work phone to be like yeah we're going back soon and I was like <sighs> so just trying to relax and not get too stressed now but everything's fine um, so apologies that my voice sounds like this, I'm sure it'll be back to normal soon. So we're now going to cheat and make the non-vegan cream stuff. Yeah, the cream. Um, because obviously with it being carrot cake, you want it to have the bit in the middle and the bit on the top. And oh gosh, the weather is awful outside, so sorry if you can hear that. Um, so we're going to make that just so that the cake isn't fully ruined because the cake, oh gosh. <laughs> The cake actually turned out really well, like, and I tasted the, like, the batter anyway before I went in and it did taste really good. So I don't want it to go to waste. So let's just get right into the icing. So I'm gonna, oh God, wait, oh wait, damn, stop. I never put the thing down. Okay, so. Oh, now we need to get the other one. This is so difficult. Wait, wait a second, start again. Sorry, if any of you know what it's like to have a panic attack this bad, like, I just feel very, like, weird. So, like, my brain's not functioning very well and I just, like, couldn't figure out how to work the thing. The whisk, oh my god. Right, okay, so now I'm adding in a second one of this and I'm gonna, like, mix it together until it's smooth, just in case you can't hear me over the mixing. Also, there is cinnamon in this. Well, but yeah, there's butter and ice and sugar for just now. So now we're going to put in the cream cheese. See, I feel like this is way too much, but the recipe said otherwise. It just said to beat it, so I'm just going to use the spoon. Oh my gosh, I nearly said fork, but it's a spoon. <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, but also, the other reason I was kind of like fudged in it, like I couldn't really talk and stuff, was because I literally lifted the bottom half out off of the cooling tray and it broke in, <laughs> broke in half. So I'm really hoping that, you know, with the cream and stuff, it will work okay. But I don't really know how a vegan recipe is going to work with actual dairy, so please pray for us. this is what it looks like um yeah so it kind of looks a bit non-presentable um oh my gosh sorry my finger was in the camera um i guess that means i'm gonna have to try a bit i don't want to take a big bit because it's late oh my god oh my god there's an orange zest coming out but maybe that wasn't a good sorry there we go so there we go now to me <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to do it so I'm gonna try it this is actually a really big bit but we'll see how it tastes oh my god 
that is so good i'm so proud of myself especially after all the stress that it took to get this done i'm so happy even if it's not day free icing it still works out really really well um so thank you guys so much for watching this video I'm really sorry that, oh gosh, I'm really sorry that my voice started sounding awful and it took me all day to make this damn cake. But yes, as I said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!